I have to tell you, I, uh, I've never viewed myself as a person that can, can do that. Mm. But I have to tell you, the night before last, several people said to me, after having been on the stage a few minutes, the first time I blundered it, I just, I mean, I really wasn't expecting to get an award, but they said, you were so funny. How was that funny? I, I, a couple things I may have said. Uh, mm -hmm. Yesterday, I'll just use this as an example. I was doing my swan song at the Chamber of Commerce. There may have been a hundred people in the audience. We were, and again, I did a little update about the college. And I couldn't miss the opportunity to talk about my appreciation for the, the city of Lakewood. I was talking to some Lakewood business people. So, I mean, we've been here, we're leaving here. We'd love to say thank you very much. And I was talking, and, I, and there's a search going on. And somebody in the audience shouted out, we're going to miss you, and they're going to have a terrible time replacing you. And uh, the audience went kind of quiet for a minute. It actually choked me up, and I quickly reached in my pocket. I told them, that is, it wasn't on the script. Well, and they had, they had great fun with it, and they all laughed. Yeah. And I didn't necessarily think, oh, I'm going to be make a belly laugh at it, but I'd offer a little bit of humor. I don't have a good example there. I don't tell jokes very well, and if I have a way of slipping something in that's self-deprecating, which I think, by the way, is the easiest kind of humor for me. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and that spontaneous, I don't have a good way to, I try, I try never mm -hmm. to say something funny that relates to another person, mm -hmm. whether it's in the audience or just make light of somebody else. It doesn't, mm -hmm. serves no useful purpose. Mm -hmm. You can do it by